Hey guys, you did in a flash here, and today I ordered myself a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Um, just the housing. I uh, recently, a couple weeks ago, um, bought a Pro Controller off eBay. Uh, it was about, I want to say like $45. Which is pretty good considering how much they are new. Um, but the faceplate was a little bit scratched up, and you know the button's well worn in. So I thought, hey, why not customize it and get myself a little shell like this? So I was like, hey, why don't we just look on eBay? So looking on eBay, um, you can see, you know, there's one here for twelve ninety nine to fifteen. There's uh, some of them are kind of a little bit more expensive, like this one here, just for the grips. It's uh. It's 1561. Um, Animal Crossing themed one, about $26. Uh, so, it, as you can see on here, a lot of them uh, for the entire faceplate, it's it, it's substantially more than how much I paid. Um, mine I actually did a bid on, uh, and I got mine for $14.99 uh, plus uh, $6 of standard shipping. It's about 20 bucks, and that came with uh, these grips here the back faceplate, uh, the buttons. So, okay, I, uh, I got everything out of the box here. Uh, as you can see, they sent me uh, the D-pad, the triggers, uh, the, the A, B, Y, X buttons, uh, the uh, joysticks, which I actually thought from the picture looked like they were more the Xbox style with the kind of caved in uh, look and the uh, the like kind of texture around the edges. These look like they're just the regular Switch ones though. Uh, so I guess I was uh, wrong in, in that sense. And they also sent me the, the home button, the plus and minus button, and the screenshot button, which I didn't think they were going to send but just because, I mean, it's already the same color as the ones on a remote. But I mean, I guess it's good to have, you know, everything uh, all new and fresh. Especially since I bought the remote used. Um, and then they, we have our five screwdrivers. All Phillips head. Um, it looks like three of them are the same. And then the two yellow ones are uh, different sizes. So I don't know what's up with that. I think they just put a screwdriver in every single bag. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this on here. So I've actually never taken one of these apart, but um, let's do it. <laughs> uh, so we got a screw here and here we're going to take out. Let's do that real quick. Okay, now that that's off, we're going to remove the screws here, here, and then here, and there. Uh, and then this back piece should pop off right here. Okay, so now since we got that out, we should just be able to pry this up with our fingernail. I'll pull that up here. There we go. And then there you can see we have our battery. Um, if I remember correctly, I think this is just about the same battery that they use in, in the uh, 3DS. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take that out. That just should pop out. Okay, now since that's out, uh, we have five more screws to remove. So first we're going to remove this one. Uh, then we got one over here on the side, and then one right over here. Uh, and then we have two hidden ones, which if you angle it, you can see these slits right here, right down in there. So you got one there, you got, uh, let me see here, should have one right there. So we're going to go ahead and remove those real quick. Okay, so after that, um, after we get those screws out, we're going to want to just pull this apart and be careful because there's a ribbon cable there we need to disconnect. Alright, so after we have the two parts together, this side we don't need to touch anymore. Um, I would just take out those uh, joysticks, um, blow some compressed air in there just to clean it out. Um, before we put on our new ones um, and really that's all we need to tear down because our new faceplate here is just gonna snap right on the back of this um, however this one we do need to take apart um, 
That way we can get to these buttons and switch those out. Um, so what we're gonna do is take out that screw, that screw, that screw, and this screw over here. Now, after we have that done, this here should just lift out and you have um, really the only other thing you need, which are these uh, rubber pads for your buttons. Take those out. Uh, you can see this one here has a little bit of dirt and stuff in there. So I'm just gonna wash this thing off real quick in the sink. Um, it's not gonna hurt it, it's just plastic. Uh, take out all the grips and do that, just so that, you know, you don't want dirt trapped underneath there. Sometimes it'll affect how you press the button. So now since we have this apart, we're gonna put in our button. So we're gonna put in our A button. Put in our B button. We're just gonna do this all the way across. So I'll fast forward real quick till I have all of them in. Okay. Now we have all of these on, um, and I cleaned off these. Also made some coffee, that's a very important step. Um, so what now we're gonna do is we're gonna get this little uh, circuit board here and take off the triggers that are attached. These just kinda swing up and then basically just pop right off. Um, so we're gonna do that, put on our new ones. Okay, so the next step is to take these ones off. Um, these are kind of hard. There's a little rod there you got to pull out. Um, so you might need some tweezers or something like that in order to get it out. It's a pretty small rod. Um, so let's find something and I'll get it out of there. Okay, so now since we got that together, um, I put this back on. I didn't screw it in yet. Um, as you can see, it's kind of starting to come together um, pretty well. I'm starting to like it. Um, We'll continue on. I'm just going to put this back together. Um, just kind of reverse your steps from how we took it apart. And that'll be your best way to get it back together, honestly. Okay, so it's all together. Um, and it looks very nice. I, I do like this a lot. Um, the only thing is this up here is the old part. Still pretty scratched up. Not much you can do about that because they don't really send these parts out. Um, but that's okay. Um... And this here has kind of a strange, like, paint-like texture. You can kind of see here where it kind of pops out some. It actually adds a little bit more grip, and I kind of like it. Um, the joysticks, I know a lot of times for some older controllers I've had, where I put on new joysticks, um, you can feel them kind of grinding. This one, however, it's it feels really nice, very solid. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, up to Smash Brothers uh, tournament uh, standards, but it's it's up there. The D-pad still feels good. Uh, B, A, X, and Y still all feel great. The triggers feel good. Um, these buttons feel the same. Um, it almost feels to me like the buttons... Uh, sorry, camera kind of slid down. It feels to me like these buttons kind of uh, are raised up a little bit higher. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, and I've already went and tested this to make sure it all works good on my TV. Um, make sure that I didn't mess up any of the wires or anything, and it works great. So I would really recommend this. Um, the brand is uh, Extreme Rate. Um, they, when I was looking up how to take off these triggers, because I was actually having problems with it, uh, they actually have a video that shows them taking it apart and putting it together. Um, so yeah, it is, I I think I got a pretty good deal on this, and I am really enjoying it so far. I like the customized look. Um, uh, I would recommend it. Um, so I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, this is you in the Flash, 1999, signing off. Goodbye, and have a good night, everyone.